Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. It's been about a month since we've made videos um, between our last videographer and my son Brooks, who's just taken up on us. But I talked to a guy the other day about an MGB rack and pinion. So Brooks is going to bring the camera on in here, and we're going to talk about the inner tie rod end on this rack and pinion. Let's take a look at the inner tie rod end here. Now this is fully articulated, in other words it moves completely, and yet it doesn't fall. It's, it, uh, it's got some stiffness to it. And that stiffness is controlled by this outer piece here. First of all, let me, don't get ahead of myself here, I've got this little chisel with an end on it here, and I can hook him underneath this, this uh, lock tab. I made this specially, it's not available from any commercial source. and. Um, now I can, I can tighten or loosen this piece here. Let's tighten him, just, just for fun, okay? Now, well, I don't know if I can get him any tighter than, than this or not. I can't get him any tighter and he's still fully articulated. Let me warn you though, you can get that too snug. And if you do get this too snug, then this will not move. Now as we loosen this up further, look at that, okay? Now it just falls. That's too loose. Plus, you can't see it, but I can push this. I can push this in and out. So you can do this right on the car. Here's the here's the uh, tie rod. Here, there's the tie rod. There's the big nut that goes on the back side of it. Underneath here, if I can get this thing out of here. Here we go. Here's a spring. If this spring is broken, you're screwed because that spring is critical to the operation of this rack and pinion. So the spring goes in first. Well, you got this lock tab that spins on first, but you got the, the spring that goes in. Then, then we have the, the uh, socket that the uh, tie rod fits against. And then we have our great big nut on the front here. And normally, we would have the lock tab turned in. I know I'm using a pair of channel locks and somebody's going, oh, you should use the factory tool. Well, you go find the factory tool and then you can be real proud about what you're doing, but I just, I have to use this stuff. Now here, this is almost so tight that I can't, I can't move it, okay? Uh, just a little too tight it'll break off. So now we back it off until it's fully articulated which means it moves all the way and yet it has just a little bit of a um, we can turn it and back it off a little bit more we can turn it, it moves that's, that's pretty nice. So now we're going to back the lock tab up against the big nut here Here's the lock tab getting tight. Whoops, tightening up a little too much here. I suppose I should be using two pairs of channel locks. It's always nice to have all the tools ready to go before you do the before you do the uh, demonstration. I saw a bunch of guys in Chicago this weekend. That was a lot of fun at the Chicagoland Swap Meet. We'll be there next year for sure. And uh, anyway, there there we go. That's fully articulated. Now we have to find the right place to take our punch. I have a punch here that's flat and I can find where these lock tabs have to fit into the rack and then this guy down here gets driven in here. Surprise, surprise, it's about in the same spot and we're all done. This guy can turn and he's fully articulated. Okay, so that, that's it. Never ever, Brooks is going to draw the camera back a little bit here so you can see the rack and pinion. Never ever put the rack into the vise because you're going to squeeze it, you're going to dent it, you're going to bend it. If you want to do work with the rack and pinion, let me show you my special tool out of my handy dandy toolbox. Look at this, huh? This guy fits up up in here. We use this for MGA ones. Um, you can put this up up through here, nut it on both sides, hold this in the vise, and then you can hold, have this thing supported 
well you you can use this to uh, uh, adjust your shim pack or d do some work on the rack and pinion itself hey these videos are lots of fun I got a call today from a guy from Israel imagine that we had a TC and he said thanks for the YouTube videos well thanks for watching them and we'll check in with you guys tomorrow